Hello, this is Miss Joyce, as you all know. So, how are you all doing? I will be actually sharing the story of God to encourage you guys all, all, and also um, go back to the story of Moana that you guys know so well because you've been practicing singing, dancing, acting, all of that, right? And we have Moana there, and. Uh, Grandma Tala there, and Chief Tui there, and Sina there, and everyone else, right? And what's this flower? Oh, it's a little heavy. Okay, okay. So you guys understand. This is just just to make you guys a little more uh, interested to my story. Okay. Anyways, so the story of Moana, you guys know very well. But let me just uh, go back to it. So there's Moana, Chief Tui and Sina's daughter, right? Um, the village of Motunui, right? She's from there, and she's the leader's daughter but she's leader herself and what happens of course all the stories have problem trouble and the trouble in this story of Moana was this what is that heart of Tafiti what is trouble with that well of course this guy Maui which we have a pretty and beautiful Maui Aira but anyways the Maui in the story actually he steals the heart of Tafiti from Tafiti the goddess the um God, uh, the mother of island, right? She's teeming with green and life, but Maui steals that heart and then she becomes Teka, the demon of earth and fire. And this Teka is not happy, very angry, right? And then fights with Maui and this heart is lost in the ocean. And what is other problem? The island, this Motunui, the village, they have no more crops, no more food, no more fish in the ocean. Everything's in trouble and ruin. So then it is time for Moana to go beyond to the bigger ocean, right? But Shiftui and Sina are afraid that their daughter will be in trouble and, and of course maybe die even. And they don't let her go. But through Grandma Talis, um, courage and and the story of what is the real call for Moana she goes out right and she sails with Maui and you guys all did this uh, in the audition you guys all memorized this line I am Moana of Motunui you I forgot <laughs> but you guys remember right uh, you have to go you know sail across the sea and we have to restore the heart of Tafiti and that is what she does right in the story it's happy ending she finally through all those you know a very hard adventure she has Tamatoa claws you know all these things and she still is you know she defeats and she she wins and she gets the heart and she gives it back to Tafiti so take up turns around again back to Tafiti, right? And the island is again with life and everyone is happy. And that is the story of Moana, right? So we see how Moana, it's the theme of not just like a lot of like Disney stories or other stories, it's about like, oh, love or just um, happiness. But this is more of a young girl who, who is like a leader of these people, who is saving these people and going out to cost her life even to you know this adventure not just for herself or her own happiness but it is for the people of her kind and you know what why am i here right now talking because i want to share you god's word and in the bible Ta -da -da -da, as you see in the picture you know all these lights coming out <laughs> the bible has all those stories actually actually the bible is the origin of all these wonderful stories of saving the people and you would know many characters in the bible that actually did the similar job as moana can you think of anybody that actually has the name that starts with same m-o-mo -mo somebody who who is this guy or who's this girl? Oh, <laughs> Moses, do you remember last year? Okay, I know it's Hugyoksa, but anyways, uh, this was somebody that you might know. Um, this Moses, who's this Moses in the Bible? He was a Jew baby, right? Jew, um, he was a baby Jewish person, but he was almost going to be killed. But he was saved by the princess of Egypt, and then he was grown as the prince of Egypt. But he gets in trouble because he sees his own people um, being slaves and Egyptians were like hitting them, you know, being very rude and mean to them. And, and he was so angry. 
that his own people were being treated this way. And then all of a sudden he was so filled with anger, he killed this Egyptian man. And then he realizes what I, what I have done is, is, is so much, you know, this is so wrong. So with all that guilt and uh, fear, he ran away right from the palace that he lived in. And then he lived outside of palace Egypt for a long time. And then later on, God calls him. God calls him back and he says, through the burning bush, and it's a bush, the tree that is on fire, but it's not burning. And God said, you, Moses, you should come or go, actually, to the king of Pharaoh, to Egypt again, and say, let my people go. And Moses didn't feel anything like doing that because he was so afraid. You know, what do you mean, God? I am hated by king, of course, and I'm hated by my own people, Jews. And you are saying, me to go back and say let my people go to the king what you want me to die you want me what do you want me from want from me <laughs> and he didn't say yes the first time or second time but god patiently called him out and then you know the story of moses right he does go and finally through god's power he you know brings people out egyptians from egyptians he brings the uh, jewish people God's people out of Egypt to worship God. And here's the picture of that famous story, right? Moses departing the Red Sea. And of course, it's God doing that job, but God used Moses to save the people. Oh, kind of like Moana. Now, of course, Moana is not like from the Bible. She's not like getting power from our God. But anyways, we are finding the similar, you know, the, the story and the thread. Um, and there's another woman in the story of Bible, in the Bible, the true people that lived. And this woman is called Esther, Queen Esther. And this, oh, actually we have Esther. Our Tafiti is Esther, yes. Anyways, this Esther in the Bible, um, we even have the book called Esther. She is, has also, um, she is also a Jew. She was a Jew, young Jew, Jewish woman, but she becomes a queen. And there's a lot of story behind, but I'm not going to tell you all that. You can read Esther or next time maybe I'll talk about Esther. Anyways, she also goes to save her people by almost like costing her life. And um, long story but short, there was this guy named Haman and he just hated Mordecai. Mordecai is the guy in red that raised Esther because she was orphaned. And um, because Haman wanted all of the people around him to honor him and worship him like king. And Mordecai, because he was God's person, he didn't bow down to Haman. So then he said, I'm going to kill Mordecai, not only him, but all the Jewish people. And this plan was heard to Esther, to Esther also found out this, found this out from Mordecai. And Mordecai said, Esther, this is the time. That's why you're queen right now. I think you should go tell king to stop, right? to stop this uh, mandate. And Esther was scared. And she said at first, oh, no, I can't do that. If I go to the king and just say my request, I might be killed. But, but if it's God's will, she got to listen. And she said, I will. And if I perish, I perish, she says. If I die, I die. I'll just follow God's call. And she asked all of her people to fast and pray for her. And she, through God's wisdom, was opening a party and finally um, through many stories that you can read um, she was able to tell king to not kill the jewish people but actually kill him so actually happy happy story happy ending but the whole pro uh, process was never easy queen esther also had to risk her life to save her own people but when we talk about risk, risking or, or um, giving life to save people, the real example, the best example that we can think of, of course you guys know, right? It is not Moses, not Esther, not anyone else in the Bible, but only Jesus Christ, right? He is not demigod like Maui. He's the real God. He's the real person, real human being that lived with us and that is living right now. And that Jesus Christ is the real, true God who is living with us, who did sacrifice himself. Not like Moses and Queen Esther who had to risk their life but then didn't die for real. But Jesus actually did give his life 
to die for us, to save us, to save his own people. Not for his own sake. It wasn't for his own happiness. It was for us. He gave his, us his own life. And that's why we're here right now, to this Juniper Christian School, right? We're called Christians. And we are doing Moana, not because we worship Moana or Maui or Tafiti, but because we worship Jesus Christ. We worship God. He's the God who called us together to work together like this. And through this music, through this story, wonderful things in this world that we can use to glorify God and to, and to say, actually, Jesus is the one who saves us. Jesus is the one that we trust, that we celebrate, that we worship. And I hope as we finish this um, Juniper winter Juniper school, that you will all remember that what we're doing is all for him and because of him. And we want to thank him and worship him through this whole process that we are putting ourselves in and that we did together. And thank you, everyone. And thank you, teachers and staff, for doing a wonderful job. And we will do well. And we can trust in the Lord who gives us strength. Okay? Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much. Um, the story of Moana is wonderful. But better than that, uh, the real, true self, um, Jesus Christ, is the one who came to the adventure of this world to save us, to um, give your life to us so that we can have life, so that we can live, to save the people. That The job that you've done, you gave it to us too, to have our lives be lived, um, to be lived, to worship you, to glorify you, and to uh, be able to tell others about you, Jesus, who does really save us, save our soul, save our lives. Lord, help us to um, really love each other through your love, to do well together, um, not just because of our own honor, own will, own happiness, but to glorify you, to worship you, to, to celebrate you, who is our Lord, who is our King. Thank you once again for everything, Lord. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, welcome.